Hey, you know we gotta come back with another tier list video, baby. I got you. I got you with the starting pitchers. Now I got you with the relievers, man. You know, I get this question a lot. I get a question a lot. You know, what's your top five starters? What does your bullpen look like? What's your bullpen look like? Can you show me your bullpen? What about this guy? What about that guy? Well, this video is for you guys, for those who ask those questions. It should be easier, it should be faster, and it shouldn't take as much of your time as the other one because there's a lot less relievers. And this one seems to have really just the guys who are good. The starting pitchers one was a little bit too deep for me. There was too many cards there that just irrelevant. But let's get into it, man. Let's break it down nicely simple jose alvarado uh, i'm gonna go with a uh gonna go with a b tier reliever got the hits per nine his k per nine is kind of low but the hits per nine is more important he's got horrendous control 53 bb per nine 78 control 99 velo and break but i don't think he has outlier he does have outlier ones he's an outlier two seamer no change up hurts him so he has a two seamer four seam slider and a curveball uh you know what i'm gonna actually put him in I'm gonna put him in tentative A tier because I don't think there's a lot of lefties out there, man. So I'm gonna put him in A tier because if you need a lefty and he's budget, he's really easy to get. I believe he's a raised collection, so it's not too difficult. I'll take him. Michael King. I'm gonna go. Uh, I think he's an S tier reliever in the sense that he has a ton of value. His hits per nine is kind of low, but Michael King does have a five pitch mix, 101K per nine. But his thing, 54 stamina. That is huge. Uh, no outlier on the sinker, but he throws very hard. He's sinker, four seam slurve, change up, circle change, and a slider. So five pitches, good meta pitches, and a hard sinker. Plus, he has a uh, pretty decent control, and he's got that great stamina. Just that great stamina alone gets him into S tier. There's not a lot of great believers out here right now, guys. There's only a few that I have any confidence in and, and barely any in them as of late. So S tier, but tentative, as I said, because this is going to be scaled up, man. There's a big gap between relievers. Now, Joe Nathan, B tier, decent pitch mix, kind of funky, lacks control and a hits for nine. That's of anything to, you know, to, to look at with a kind eye. So I'll have him there. 85, Rob Men. Uh, I don't even know what this card is. F tier, buns. Adam Ottavino, A tier. Good pitch mix, funky delivery, very difficult to pick up, but the control is awful and he hangs a lot of pitches, so he's going to get AC. Very similar to Alvarado to me. Budget, uh, very good value, but doesn't really cross the threshold for me. Doesn't have as much value as Michael King. Drew Pomeranz, D, no pitches. He gets no pitches. No, he, good hits per nine. Good, really good hits per nine and K per nine, but horrible control and lacks any pitches. So D tier for me. Only thing that helps him is the hits per nine being so high. David Price, C tier for his utility. That's it for the for the stamina and, and for the pitches, but hits per nine is pretty bad. So not, not very good. Not very good card. Lee Smith, same as D, uh, you know, high, I believe. Yeah, 80 hits per nine as a reliever, 95K per nine, but he's got good control. 87 BB per nine, 85 control. So so a random Lee Smith with really good control is interesting. Does not throw hard. Four seam slider, cutter, fork ball. Yeah, doesn't really do it for me. A little bit of a funky release, but honestly, just kind of a lie. Just kind of a lie. So he gets D tier for me. Carry Wood, not very good, man. No, no real value, no outlier. I think he has a cutter, but nah, not going to be used. Troy Percival, D tier because he's kind of funky. I've seen this card. I've used him. He's got a good hits per nine and K per nine. He's got horrendous control, though. 44 BB per nine, 62 control, and uh, does not throw hard either, but he has a really funky release, and that curveball comes out of nowhere. So that combined with the decent hits per nine, I'm going to give him a D tier. It's not even that great. John Duran, S plus. I think he's uh, one of the hardest relievers to hit in this game for most people. Outlier, four-seamer, and splitter with a nasty cutter and a funky 12-6. And he has good stamina. So that he's a two-inning, three-inning kind of guy. He's very, very good in terms of being an opener. So I like that. Good value. Nate Evaldi, A. Decent pitch mix. Not He's an 87. He's very easy to acquire. Not an awful hits per nine and a very good stamina. 58 base stamina as a reliever. Good pitching clutch. 92 velocity, 90 96 break he has pretty decent control not great break but a five pitch mix unfortunately you know not the greatest pitches no sinker no two seamer four seam cutter splitter slider curveball so when you're facing nate you kind of just sit one direction it's either going straight or coming right at you if you're a left-handed hitter and vice versa if you're a righty so for me i'm gonna go a tier just for the stamina utility i'm gonna go b tier actually b tier doesn't he lacks the pitches so b tier but the stamina really helps houston street i think is an a tier funky with delivery sinker cutter mix got to change up hits per nine isn't great and the control is pretty tough and his velo is a little bit low so for me, he's A tier, but still a, a pretty good A tier pitcher. Victor Arano, B tier, very readable. Decent pitches, but very readable. Hits pronounce not anything to, to write home about. So for me, gets a B. Lefty Grove. If this was before he got his, honestly, when he had the generic windup, he was way harder to read. He would have been A, but for me, he's B tier just because of the stamina. Lefty Grove is a relief pitcher. Throws really hard, but no outlier. And uh, other than that, just four pitches. He's not as funky as he used to be. The generic release that he accidentally was given was a little bit harder to read than his current re uh, release. But B tier for the stamina. Jordan Romano. D tier, bad pitches, four seams, two seamer slider. I don't care.
care what your hits per nine is. No outlier either. You ain't throwing shit with that, man. You ain't doing anything with that. Uh, Sean Doolittle, I'm going to go D tier simply for the hits per nine, but his pitches is low D tier. He is very bad on the mound. Four seamer, that's not that hard. Splitter and a slider that's slow does not get it done. Very readable. I saw him twice in rank when he first dropped and I absolutely pulverized him. So nope. Chapman S plus reliever. Still not saying he's amazing. He's not, he's not infallible, but what we're working with right now in the game, he's an S plus reliever for sure. He's a guarantee. S plus basically means guaranteed in your bullpen. Like you need them. That's what that means for me. I'm not saying they're amazing, but it's a must have in my opinion. Emmanuel Clase, A tier. No, B tier, dude. Too readable. No, nothing. He just gets rocked, bro. He should be better than he is. He just gets absolutely torched. John Franco, B tier, just because of the five pitch mix and the screwball. And he's a little bit of a funky guy. He can throw your opponent off, but the hits per nine is very low and he throws too slow. Gets kind of rocked. Brad Hand, C tier. Nothing special at all. Decent hits per nine, but very readable. No velocity. Billy Wagner, D tier. Just gets torched. No outlier, Billy Wagner. He's a 90 overall. 107 hits per nine is not bad. 98K per nine is not awful. Control is not anything bad. 124 clutch is cool, but 86 below, 88 break. Pretty poor control. Not, not, his pitches don't move and they're not even outliers. So to me, he gets D tier for that. Devin Williams, S plus. I have him in front of the, I have him in front of Duran. Arguably my best reliever this season, this year so far. Great speed differentials, incredible hits in K per nine. Lulls your opponent to sleep. I just think he's one of the best. I really do. Control's not awful. The BB per nine's terrible. Gotta get ahead of the count. Steve Ciszek, S tier. Uh, five pitch mix, funky release, decent hits per nine, sinker, splitter, all the things you want. I can't use him. He gets destroyed for me and I light him up, but he does a lot of work for other people. So I think he's definitely not a bad option at all. Tom Hankey, uh, C tier. Only because his fork ball, I think is one of the nastiest pitches in the game, but nothing else to write about. K per nine's really high as always. Hits per nine's always really low. So the gym teacher looking mother named Tom Hankey. Nope, C tier. Andrew Miller, uh, B tier for the hits in K per nine, but for the lack of pitches and control gotta put them to beats here mo a tier love this card's control and hits per nine i wish this card would be in my bullpen i'm about to put him back in though because i'm so good with him if he had a change up but cutter four seam sinker slider not bad not bad at all and he's honestly good across the board I i'm really high on this mo card so i'm gonna give him i'm actually gonna give him an s i think he's an s tier pitcher i really do i like him a lot i really do zach Britton, uh s tier i think he's a lot worse this year with sinker is getting nerfed up in the zone big time and outlier not being guaranteed for uh max velocity he's just a lot more more readable man and if you're gonna use this guy you have to use this two seamer as a change up that's the key trevor hoffman a tier uh excuse me a tier reliever just got the five pitches got decent hits in k for nine doesn't have the velocity and his control is honestly not that great doesn't throw a lot of you know doesn't dot too much if i'm not mistaken his control is not insanely good the velocity is just too low and his pitch break is actually very deceiving so yes he has 99 break but that's on the circle change then the next up is fastball at 83 then his other break 71 cutters 77 on the slider 68 on the curveball his pitches float. They do not break at all. Bruce Suter, just C tier, lack of utility, no pitches. It's, his kind of build isn't going to work. It's not going to work in MLB to show. It just won't. Ryan Wilson, A tier reliever, because I think his two seamer is actually pretty nasty. I, I, I'm not a fan. Very low hits per nine. K per nine's high, but that doesn't matter, man. This game, you need higher hits per nine. Kenley, uh, going to go with a tentative S tier just because of the high per nines and the good control. Throws pretty hard. A little funky, but very readable. Needs another pitch. Josh Hader, S plus, obviously. Use him while you can, man. Dude might go down. He has an ERA of a 430 since July 3rd. He's getting absolutely rocked. I don't know what's up with him. He just let him walk off Grand Slam last night at the Giants. Rysel Iglesias, uh, no, it doesn't. I mean, C tier just for pitch utility, but no, nah, he ain't, ain't going to do anything. Aaron Loop was elite when he was a uh, high silver getting inside edge all the time. He's now a bronze. He's just been having such a tough year for that. He's just down to down to D tier because he's funky. Gets D tier. Blake Trinan. Honestly, not bad. B tier reliever if he's playing on inside edge. He still has it, man. Throws really hard. Good pitches. I'll give him B tier. I'll give him B tier. I kind of like this card over, over some other ones, man. I really don't. I don't think it's bad at all. I'm actually going to go Brad Hand and B tier as well. Um, it's because he has a sinker. Ryan Helsley. Helsley, whatever his name is. Uh, C. No pitches. No outlier. Sad. Play Holmes. Gonna go eights here. Outlier sinker, good pitch mix, lacks in the K per nine department, and he really just has, to be honest, what hurts Clay Holmes is the fact that it's sinker, slider, curveball, four seam, and the slider is slow. If it was a hard slider, he'd be good, or if he just had a changeup, you just hit hard stuff with him, but he does have really good control. For me, he's a 99 BB per nine to start with a 79 control, so he, he won't walk too many guys. He's got decent stamina, too, so I'll take him in the A spot. Not bad at all. Eric Gagne, uh, C tier. Just gets lit, dude. No pitches, no control. Sorry, no pitches. Goose, 
S tier, but barely. I think he's really, really, really a disappointment this year. I'm gonna put Kenley in A tier, actually. If Goose is S, Kenley's gotta be A. Same with Mo. I'm gonna rock with his S tier. I just think he doesn't. No outlier in this card kills him. And his control is horrid. Pinpoint's harder this year. He's got no outlier, and sinkers are nerfed, so he is just useless. He gets his balls. When you throw them, they go nowhere you want them to go, and he gets torched. Seth Lugo, surprisingly, gonna give him a B tier. High, high, high hits for nine. The windup is awful, but he's got five pitches, all with really solid breaks, so I'll take Seth here. Raleigh Fingers, S+. Plus, definitely a must on your team right now. Solid pitch mix and a little funky. That fork ball is really, really, really sleek. I like it, man. Slow, throws people off. I enjoy that pitch. Who the hell is... Oh, it's Mark Appel. I don't think I have that card yet. Um, nothing nothing to write home about, man. No pitches, so I'm going to go... I'm going to put him in the, in the D tier, man. I'm putting him D tier. I really don't think he's anything solid. Uh, I'm actually going to put Gagne in B tier. And I'm going to drop Victor Arano to C tier. Yeah. I'm going to put... Daniel Hudson F. His card is just useless. I don't know the point of it. I'll put him in D. D tier. I don't know what the point of him is, but not very good. Jorge Lopez. He's going to get a tentative S+. Plus. I'm skeptical of him, but he does have five pitches, in, uh, including outlier sinker with a 114 hits per nine. He's got 95. He's got a sinker, curveball, chain, circle change, slider, and four seam. His control is decent. His break is okay. He does have outlier sinker, but I don't know why. He's very readable to me. I don't know what the... I'm going to work on it, but he's got very solid control. BB pronounced 90. 88, 87 control to start. So we'll put him S plus. I think these guys are definitely musts in your bullpen. Yeah, that's, that's what I got, guys. It's really very simple. Nothing too crazy. That's what I'm rocking with. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree in the comment section below. A lot quicker of a video, man. Nothing really to, to talk about. This is pretty much how it's going to go. I love y'all. Thanks for watching, man. Be good, okay?